Hey, what's up guys? Um, I've just received my 23andMe genome kit um, that I ordered online today. So um, what I'm going to do in this video is to walk you through how you um, can um, set up an account um, and also as an unboxing of this box. So this, this box came in the mail and there was also a return envelope uh, which I don't have with me right now. So let's try and open up the box and see what we have in it. Um, right at the top, you can see a peel here. That because um, what you're going to do is you're going to spit in this uh, test tube here and seal it by peeling off this adhesive here and sticking it on before sending it back. So what you need to do is go to 23andMe.com forward slash start and then register it. And I will show you how to do that in a minute. So this is the box it came in. So you can see it's um, made in Canada. It looks like it's outsourced to a third-party um, provider, DNA Genotech, based in Ottawa, Canada. And this kit contains one, how should we call it, spittoon, I guess. And in the box, you have the bag in which to place the specimen. It says DNA Genotech Biospecimen Bag. Um, wow, biohazard, I guess. Spit is pretty dangerous. And here you have it. So what a patient will do is you'll spit in here and fill it up to this line right here. Close it. I'm not sure what this liquid is inside. You can see the liquid in here. And then There is a. I'm not sure where this goes, but I'll figure it out soon enough. In any case, that is the spittoon. And let's place this back in there. Just put it away for the moment. Here are the instructions on how you actually spit into it um, in English and a bunch of other languages. It looks like there are 14 languages altogether. So you spit it in, fill it to the line, cap it. Um, oh, you open that up. That's, that's just like a funnel for you to spit into. And then you seal it with the little cap that we saw earlier um, and then put it back into this bag before mailing it in. So let's head right over to this web address here 23andme.com forward slash start and we will register ourselves. All right, so all we need to do now is to look at the barcode on the spittoon I have here. So I will go ahead and enter my barcode. See right there. Okay. Go ahead and do the security check. Continue. Then here you will enter the name of the person providing the sample. The first name first, and then the last name. Um, allow other users to find my name. Show my name to my matches in your relative finder and ancestry. Okay, so it's recommended. I'm gonna allow that. So make sure you read the terms of service. Go ahead and accept. Oops. So here's the consent document. So you're allowing them to basically process your DNA, obtain information uh, about your genes, etc. Of course, all of this will be confidential unless you choose to make it public. 
so I'm legally consent so I'm doing this on behalf of my dad so I'll choose the second option if you're a first person you will choose that option but this one um, so yes I will participate in research for the sake of the betterment of humanity and sample storage so what sample storage does is that they can hold it uh, for a minimum of one year and maximum of ten years wherein when new genomes are sequenced they can go back to your sample and reanalyze it so that they can expand upon uh, the current database of information that they have about your genome because you know obviously the whole thing is not sequenced yet so they'll need as as new information comes up they'll be able to go back and look at it so sex of the person sent to the sex and the birth date sent to the birth date in here So I already have an account that I'd set up earlier. I will enter it. Well, it looks like I don't have an account, so um, I'll just create a new one. I'm assuming you can add uh, multiple people to the same account. I'm just going to use my email address. Agree to the terms of service. Then you can select your interest. Um, so let's let's just pick health. Okay, so. Um, so now my account is complete and what I'll be able to do is um, well you receive a confirmation email I'll, I'll go check that later and then just click the link to confirm it um, so what you do is you, you you will now send this platoon back and they will analyze it and once they're done presumably you will receive an email whereupon you can actually log in to take a look at your genome. Well, that was an unboxing of the 23andMe genome pack. I uh, hope this was helpful in helping you decide whether or not you want uh, 23andMe. So um, don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.